Oh, come on. What I want for the theme song? Sister, sister, never knew how much I missed you. <laughs> I am such a dork. <laughs> um, definitely sister, sister. Like, I I mean, maybe I'm biased, but I truly believe that that is, like, one of the best theme songs. And it's so catchy. You know what I mean? Like, even when people see me in person, they go, sister, sister. So, sister, sister. What I watch when I need a good cry, definitely... Um, animation like you know the Pixar animation cartoons stuff that my kids watch always like crying I, and I just feel like it, they're they're such like feel good movies you know what I mean like there's always some really cool message at the end of the movie whether that's about love <laughs> or friendship you know I'm always always just Having a good cry, I would say, on on those type of films. What I watch when I need a good laugh, anything Jim Carrey related. I am telling you, that man is so hilarious. And again, I feel like a lot of these movies give me that nostalgic feel feeling um, because I watch them with my kids. So <laughs> I remember watching like, Dumb and Dumber, <laughs> especially during the quarantine with Cree. And my goodness, we would laugh and we would laugh and we would laugh. And then Liar Liar, <laughs> when he was like, this pen is... <laughs> the color of this pen is... <laughs> the color of this pen is... <laughs> Like he was trying to lie about it and he, or yeah, or tell the truth, one of those scenarios. But I like laugh so hard and I know for a fact I'm going to get a good laugh if I'm watching any like funny Jim Carrey movie. Ooh, what I watch that reminds me of my childhood. Ah, oh, gosh, it's a toss up. One, Goonies! Goonies, Goonies, Goonies. All the way down to the way they dress, to the, just their lingo, their slang, the bike riding, right? I think the bike riding is just like so nostalgic. Um, and then Stranger Things. I think that is why I'm in love with the show because it reminds me of my childhood from the music, even to the props that they use, whether that's the Walkman, you know, um, just the type of TV that you see, the bike riding again. I, I'm, that's my show, like Stranger Things. I am obsessed with that show. I have watched every single season and I cannot wait for the next season. So what I watch and what I'm currently obsessed with would definitely have to be you. So boy meets girl. Boy knows this is something special and he thinks, let me do everything I can to make this right. I just binge watched the first season and I'm now into the second season. I am obsessed with that show. It's so incredibly good. And Squid Games. Like I, I mean, it's, it's phenomenon. Like so many people are watching this show or have watched this show, but those two shows, I just, I, I'm just like, they're amazing. Like, I'm like, thank God for television. What I watch that might surprise people, that is such a good question, is horror. So I like, you know, people kind of like see me as, you know, like the, you know, girl next door or whatever. Like, why would she watch, you know, uh, Freddy Krueger or um, a Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Like those kind of like horror movies, like mixed with thriller. I am like all for it. I like have my glass of wine and I, my popcorn. I'm like, oh my gosh, what's going <laughs> to happen next? And then the other thing is, I love watching crime documentaries. Like, I mean, they are just, I don't know, they're just so interesting. And I think because I love psychology and, you know, I'm a psychology graduate. So I always question why people behave the way they do. So I love watching these, you know, crime documentaries because I want to know, like, how could someone get to that point? You know what I mean? Um, 
so crime documentaries, I think, is another another kind of answer that people would be like, "What? That Tia, you watch that?" My husband still is perplexed. <laughs> He's like, "What are you watching? Why? Why? Why are you watching this?" What I watch that gets me into the Christmas spirit would definitely have to be Lifetime Christmas movies. You know, one thing that I love about Lifetime movies is they're very relatable, and the stories are very grounded or grounding, should I say? But not only that, the reason why I love watching these movies is because of the diversity, right? What network really allows for women of color, meaning Latina? Asian, black, uh, to be able to be the center storyline or the spotlight of the film, right?、Um, so that's you know why I really look forward to watching these movies every Christmas. And then I, <laughs> I am a part of an incredible Christmas movie called Miracle in Motor City, starring myself and oh my gosh, Smokey Robinson. And Mark Taylor.、Um, so basically, I play Amber Dupont, and I basically bite off a little more than I can chew when I promise my church congregation、um, that I can bring a legend to the Christmas pageant to basically help raise money. And so I have this big idea about bringing Smokey Robinson, right? And so I'm like, I can do this, guys. I just got an email from Smokey's office. Yes. What does it say? Well, it's not his personal email. I'm on the mailing list. Okay. So what did it say? Guess who's kicking off the twelve days of caroling at the mall? No way. When? Today. You'll have to watch to see the movie. <laughs> watch and see the movie to see, you know, what ends up happening.、Um, but I think what's so special about this movie is the relationships that An- Amber Dupont has. One、um, being her foster. Daughter, right?、Um, also, with the relationship that she's in with Eddie, who's played by Mark Taylor、um, in the movie. And you know, one thing that I love about Mark is he's very professional.、Um, he's very focused, and this man knows his lines, right? But then, not only that, like we would like change, exchange、uh, stories about Seventeen again. Like, dude, like, do you remember that? Like, that was we were in our twenties, and it's like it was. Nice to be able to like you know, like really like work together. It, w- it was a lot of fun. He was fantastic. Oh my gosh, I'm excited for people to see this new. I feel like fresh take on a Christmas movie.、Um, you really haven't seen Motown being infused into a storyline, and in, in the black culture, there's always some sort of pageant or some sort of <laughs> you know. Amazing event that happens on Christmas Day at church. So to be able to have that relatability and that realness, and that's what I mean by it's very like grounding. The story is so relatable in that sense. I'm excited for people to feel、um, and to fall in love with. These characters fall in love with Smokey, fall in love with Lily. She's just she's so phenomenal in this movie, and then just fall in love with the union of you know Amber and Eddie, and, and I'm looking forward to people you know just having that really good、um, feel good feeling when it comes to the holidays, and that's what these movies really do、um, bring is that feeling of joy, warmth, happiness, hope. And love, really. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories. Shop our favorite deals and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.